is e20 petrol causing issues in your vehicle i have been facing few small issues with my bike mostly my bike's mileage is gone down previously it was smooth the engine the asking was the reason there's the engines are getting damaged a bit but the government and automakers are saying that e20 is safe big automobile companies are now launching engines that run on flex fuel which will allow us to use 100% bioethanol on the other hand we have achieved 20% ethanol blended petroleum so now what's the fuss all about stay tuned to find out e20 petrol has become a topic of great debate in the country users are wondering if mixing ethanol with petrol is affecting their vehicles mileage corroding the engines and making its parts wear out quicker but the government has said e20 petrol is safe and adopting blended petrol is matter of national security to dig deeper into all of this and help us understand what the e20 petrol is all about we have rishi ranjan kala senior assistant editor of the hindu business line with us hi rishi thanks for joining us can you explain to our audience what exactly is an e20 petrol blend you know the e20 petrol constitutes 80% of motor spirit or petrol as we call it and which is mixed with 20% of ethanol uh, this is part of the government's ethanol blended petrol program which has two main objectives one is to reduce vehicular pollution and to reduce india's crude oil import bill did ethanol blended petrol exist before e20 and when was e20 introduced that's a great question you know ethanol has been around for almost two decades uh, the first uh, first time that we had talk about ethanol in the government and doing experiments over it was in 2003 and then eventually around 2006 7 we were blending 5% ethanol with petrol and and so you know our experience with ethanol blended petrol is almost now two decades uh, now we're talking about the e20 uh, ethanol that is roughly around june 2018 when the government notified the national policy on biofuels and the ethanol blended program is a part of that so this thing came in june 2018 so the government issued a notification in june 2021 directing all the oil marketing companies to start selling petrol blended with 20% ethanol the date of this was fixed as april 1 2023 however the government advanced this date to december 15 2022 and it would be interesting to know that we we completed blending 10% ethanol with petrol in june 2022 now coming back to the e20 blending target the essential target between for the government was to get 20% blended with petrol by 2030 but in 2022 the government or to be said precisely the ministry of petroleum and natural gas advanced this date to the ethanol supplier 2025 26 the ethanol supplier starts in november of 2025 and will end in october of 2026 what this means is that the target of selling 20% ethanol blended with petrol across all the petrol retailing outlets in the country should happen by october 2026 as of july the blending of ethanol with petrol is roughly in the range of 19.5% and we accept the expect 20% blending to happen by the end of this year why is e20 petrol required and how has it benefited the country so far so you know to understand biofuels we need to understand that biofuels or ethanol is a biofuel and natural gas these are two two commodities or two fuels which are considered a bridge fuel for india's clean energy transition now they represent a viable non disruptive transition towards india meeting its nationally determined contribution you know where the country has said where india has said that it aims to become net zero carbon emission country 
Now, a study on life cycle emissions of ethanol, which was conducted by the Niti Aayog, had revealed that greenhouse gas emissions in case of we use ethanol made from sugarcane and maize, the emissions declined by as much as 65% and 50% respectively than compared to vehicle running on entirely on petrol. So that's one. So, you know, besides these environmental benefits, it's something that ethanol has done is, you know, it has pushed up the rural economy. And, and you know, the government has been very emphatic in saying that it has helped to eliminate sugarcane arrears and has improved the vi- viability of maize cultivation in the country. We have been increasingly using maize to produce ethanol. And, and it gives a lots of numbers. So, you know, basically between ethanol supplier 2014-15 to ethanol supplier 2024-25. So, basically in the span of 10, 10 years, you know, ethanol blending in petrol by these OMCs have saved almost a whopping 1.4 lakh crores in foreign exchange. Basically, we would import petrol and, you know, pay in dollars. Besides that, you know, crude oil, uh, we bought a massive 24 and a half million tons less of crude oil. That's a huge amount of crude oil. And, and, the, and the environmental benefit is that, you know, emissions all to the tune of 73, even more than 73 and a half million tons were reduced. And, and, and just to put that in a number, you know, that is equal to 230 crore trees. So that's, that's a very big number and that's, and the environmental and the economic benefits are quite telling. You know, and, and at 20% blending, the government, at, at complete 20% blending, right now we are somewhere around 19.345, but a complete 20% blending, the government itself expects that the farmers will, will earn an additional, you know, 40,000 crores. And what it means for our import bill is that we we'll save roughly five billion dollars by E20 fuel. So that's that's quite a staggering number. What do people fear about it? I'm a regular rider. I ride my class at 350. I've been riding for two years right till now. So regarding the recent usage of E20 petrol, I've been facing few small issues with my bike. Mostly my bike's mileage has gone down for about 3-4 kilometers and also there is some knocking. So I feel like if there is a possibility, I would like to go back to the pure petrol, which while using, maybe it will increase my lifespan of the bike. The government has been aggressively defending the benefits of E20 fuel, citing examples of use of higher ethanol blend, uh, 27% in Brazil. However, the people with older vehicles, vehicles manufactured before April 1st, 2023, are, have been venting their anger on social media sites over the lack of clarity on the exact damage in vehicles and the mileage issues. This is despite the government aggressively trying to raise awareness about this issue. Another factor behind the criticism is lack of clarity over the future of the ethanol blended petrol program. Industry experts warn that higher ethanol mixes such as E30 or E40 could introduce more significant problems than E20. While isolated instances of choking of fuel injectors with E20 fuel are currently manageable, they say a higher blend percentage is expected to exacerbate compatibility issues with vehicle components and engine performance. When the government says it's safe, what's the issue then? Why are people upset? And recently, have you came across any issues uh, from the recent bikes? So recently, using these retro engines, uh, they are bit getting damaged now nowadays. Uh, Previously, it was smooth. The engines are smooth. First, the reason is the engines are getting damaged a bit. But these uh, modern engines are okay. Their efficiency, performance, smoothness is all good. As of the vintage vehicle, we can tune the engine and according to the performance, efficiency, and uh, 
whatever thing we need when this but it is not available in this modern age but relatively i'm feeling the mileage drop on the reason day people say they want choices many are saying that petrol pumps should sell both regular petrol and e20 petrol so rishi tell us this should the government give choices to the citizens definitely there should be choice for vehicle owners as a vehicle owner who is paying from his hard earned money i think i have the right to decide which kind of fuel i should put in my vehicle the role of the oil marketing companies or companies selling petrol through retail outlets or the government or the ministry of oil and gas is help me and inform me to take a right decision so what a consumer would want from the government is that the government the oil marketing companies the ministry of petroleum and natural gas should give them options to choose from maybe there will be a total 100% petrol then there will be a 10% ethanol blended petrol 20% 30% so on and so forth what these organizations should do is aware make aware the consumer the vehicle owner about the pros and cons of each of these blends and then leave it to them to take an informed decision i think it is a brilliant question and a consumer should have the right to choose among a number of blends the claim that the people were not informed about such drastic change is in completely true changing to ethanol based petrol is a policy decision and it has been in motion at least since mid 2000s india has earlier adopted 5% 10% and 15% ethanol based petrol over the years in various phases what has changed now is that we are moving to a 20% ethanol blended petrol the lack of information on this change has resulted in many people being unaware of the benefits this also led to many apprehensions among the people about the e20 petrol blend now the automakers oil marketers and the automotive research association of india want to clear the air they have termed the negative information on the e20 petrol as hearsay misinformation and misunderstanding they have assured that there will be no impact on the vehicle's life or performance by using e20 petrol there are also concerns among the people about their vehicle warranties becoming void by using e20 petrol the society of indian automobile manufacturers has assured vehicle owners that there won't be any change in warranties vikram gulati the executive vice president at toyota kirloskar motor has said that the concerns are largely unfounded and not supported by scientific evidence or expert analysis he says scientific studies have been done and they show no issues well we hope things turn out for the better as more research and data comes up stay tuned to the hindu business line for more information